In a world of social media, the company has become transparent and naked. We are all naked now. We're naked in front of our customers. So we need to embrace transparency. We need to be accountable because the truth shall be found out and the truth shall be broadcasted. So you can no longer hide behind opaqueness or hide behind inefficiencies because, uh, and you also cannot hide from social media. You have to engage, even if that engagement is about things that are negative, because social media cuts in both directions. The biggest advantage of this technological development is the value that it provides to customers. Think about how we used to take taxis, you know, five years ago, and think about the experience at Uber. You know, I, I came in to, to Sydney yesterday. I went out to dinner, I took Uber. I didn't, didn't have to worry about how many Australian dollars I had, what was the tipping convention in Australia, how to give directions to the driver, where to find a taxi. So the experience that digital technology is creating with smartphones, with personalization, with mobility, with these new disruptive digital uh, business models ultimately leads to more convenient lives. The biggest downside I see is the, is the issue of privacy and the fact that your data can be compromised and that's in order to get all this value from marketers, from brands, you have to give your data and that data can be misused or it can be hacked into. So how do leaders foster the culture of innovation? By actually addressing the incentives that they create for innovation because at the end of the day, you know, people do what you pay them to do. So you have to create incentives for people to think differently. You have to celebrate, as leaders, you have to celebrate failure. You have to celebrate risk taking, which is not an easy thing to do. And you have to set a personal example by taking risks yourself because it's easy to tell people to be innovative, but they look at you and ask, what have you done lately? Where, what are the risks you've taken? Where, because if you vote with your time and with your dollars and set a personal example, then you will be really walking the walk and not stumbling the mumble. So to me, collaborative innovation is, a, is the idea that you can't do it alone. That no company, no matter how many people you have in your, in your innovation organization, how smart they are, how much resources you have at your disposal, there are always more ideas out there. There are always more uh, you know, uh, perspectives that you can get from the outside. So collaborative innovation relies on the fact that you harness the power of communities and networks outside the organization and use that to turbocharge your innovation activity. And by doing that, by creating an innovation ecosystem around the company, what you can do is you can expand the reach of the ideas that you have, you can increase the speed with which you get, uh, get ideas and are able to execute, and you improve the quality of the outcomes.